Thank you. You like camembert? I do. We can try this Beijing camembert. Beijing camembert. Yeah. 我一开始的时候呢，我只是在家里面做试验，我做出了北京的那个卡门佩尔奶酪，然后又做出了那个 Higo 的，然后做出这几个之后，我觉得还行，就是说我能在中国做出来，起码我能证实这一点。Which is the capital city of China, a city of 20 million people. What Beijing is mainly known for is its very kind of starchy, heavy foods like noodles and dumplings and pancakes. But I'm here to see this one guy that I heard makes cheese from scratch in the French style, which is very weird and very rare in China. Is cheese something that you eat very often? It's the Western style. Western style. Yeah. You eat Chinese food? I think that China's milk products are still lacking in quality. Compared to the West, it's only a beginning stage of milk production. It will require a lot of work to be done to educate the customers to understand the culture of milk, to educate them to love milk. My name is Liu Yang, and my job is a milk cleaner. I've been working in this milk shop for about six years. 做奶酪这个事儿呢，就是其实它的流程并不复杂，重要的是要关注一些细节。我对于这个做手工的工作，我是比较感兴趣的，比坐办公室感兴趣。我在中关村上了几年班之后呢，突然有一种想出去留学的冲动，然后就去了法国。第五年的时候，我去了科西嘉岛，然后在科西嘉的时候，我我住在一个农村里面。我那个邻居他是一个放羊的，他也做奶酪。有机会他给我尝了尝他的绵羊奶奶酪，那个味儿特别让我印象深刻。后来我就产生了一个想法，我我应该回国之后我应该做这个。So what do we have here？ 这是我们的一个奶酪拼盘，这里边有北京蓝 blue cheese。OK。这个是 pyramid 白羊奶奶酪。啊、uh -huh.。这个是我们的羊奶做的豆类 semi hard cheese。Are these cheeses that are French cheeses that you have sort of copied the recipe, so they're made in the same way as they would be made in France? 对，一样的办法。So I've been living in China for five years, and I think there's nothing I've missed more than cheese. It's very difficult to get artisan cheese in China, like fresh cheese like this. So this is pretty exciting moment. Hmm. Wow. Very familiar camembert flavor, mm. right? Mm. Yeah, really creamy and delicious. From the beginning, maybe my customers are mostly foreigners. Maybe about 90% are foreigners. Through these years, we have been trying to promote the culture of China to the market. To introduce the culture of China, more and more Chinese customers are starting to eat our culture. Maybe there are about 50 to 60. 是中国客户，这么能吃奶酪了？嗯，好吃吗 ？What's your favorite kind of cheese? Like, which one do you like the most? 呃，我对这些不是很了解，然后就是想尝一下正比较正宗的。中国人喜欢比较偏甜的，不要太口味太重的，可能会这样。其实我这可能能做二十种奶酪，一共啊，但是呢，中国客户会喜欢新鲜一点的。我这儿作为一个小店的好处呢，我可以比较灵活地掌握这些奶酪的发酵期，我可以把那些比较新鲜的奶酪给那些喜欢新鲜奶酪口味的人，把那些老的奶酪给那些口味重的人。Can I try one of these slightly mad cheeses over here? 你要试这个吗？现在，现在。对。好，这个味道挺重的。<笑>这个是 Red Beijing， 也是一种软质奶酪。Have you ever made a cheese that did not sell at all? Your customers, your Chinese customers, just hated. I I don't believe that Chinese people can accept that they cannot accept the milk. Actually, I think that Chinese people, for eating, are very open. We in China have many different kinds of food, like fried food, 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 fried food,
，呃，毛豆腐啊什么的也都是发酵类的东西，而且把味道发酵的，嗯，很强壮的味道。哇哦！那应该跟面包一块吃。It's a really, really strong flavor. It kind of wafts up your nose almost. It's like pretty overpowering, but delicious. Cheers. Cheers. So we're in a car on the way out of Beijing to go and visit a goat farm where Liu Yang gets his milk to make some of his delicious cheeses. Hey, this one is really friendly, I think. To make milk, this milk is very important because milk and milk will bring the milk flavor into the milk to the end of the milk. And then it will bring the milk to the milk. Then it will bring the milk to the milk. The best milk is when the milk is eaten by milk and milk. Then they can produce the most flavorful milk. These are the goats that Liu Yang gets his milk from. They're all living on the land, totally free to wander wherever, and they're all hand milked. It's kind of a lot more hangy than I expected, but you know it's nature, and actually it's it's nice to see the kind of unsanitized place from which milk comes. There was a big milk scandal in 2008, where there was this tainted infant formula. And six children died, and 300,000 were were made sick. 零八年的那个牛奶的事件对我们整个乳制品市市场都是有影响，很大的影响。我们的客户也也经常会问我们，你的牛奶的来源是哪里啊？安不安全？有没有抗生素？有没有这些三聚氰胺什么的？我呢，只能说尽我最大的可能去从奶源上去控制这个安全性。这也是为什么我们在这儿选这种小农户。呃，选这种没有任何添加的，几乎是有机的这种奶。当然，从零八年之后呢，中国政府也下了很大的、不遗余力的去去做这些牛奶的这些生产厂商的整顿。基本上，现在往牛奶里加三聚氰胺的这种事情，在中国已经没有。我觉得是，起码我发现的，我我们的这几个供货商都是没有的。只有高品质的牛奶才能做出好的奶酪来。中国现在有更多的人开始做奶酪了，中国人对于这种美食文化也是有很大的这种包容度的。我希望有更多的本地的中国人，呃，能够了解我们普及奶酪文化，然后希望奶酪能够走到更多的中国客户的餐桌上。Well, I like you too. I want to take one back. Are they for sale? Could we to keep them? You got this red one. Yes. 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 Yes.